Welcome again to Cooking in Finland. In this episode, I'm going to show a versatile and easy plating technique from a renowned two Michelin star restaurant. It uses ribbons of daikon radish that have been seasoned and colored, although you could make this with plain daikon if you want to. The filling I'm showing here is with shrimp, but the exact same technique will work for crab or langoustines or several other types of seafood. Begin by peeling a daikon radish and then slicing it on a mandolin thin, about half a millimeter. Then you place these in a bowl with passata and red food coloring. The passata will tenderize the daikon, leave the ribbons in there for at least a couple of hours for the best results. Meanwhile, cut the shrimp or crab meat or suriname or whatever you're using into fairly large pieces. For every 75 grams, add one egg yolk and 10 grams of potato starch. You can use corn starch, but potato starch will work better here. And also add a little salt and white pepper. Roll the mixture up with cling film. It won't be an even cylinder until you roll that in foil. Secure the ends by twisting the foil. If you're going to use this right away, then simply steam this log for 10 or 11 minutes and then cool it down before slicing. In a restaurant, these can be vacuum packed and cooked in a water bath sous vide at 58 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, then chilled down. This will enable them to remain refrigerated without spoiling for up to a week. Then you open the bag and steam them just like they've been prepared fresh. Rinse off the ribbons of daikon in a bowl of cold tap water, then slice the seafood roll and carefully remove the plastic film from the edges. Wrap up the roll with the daikon. You can cut the edges at an angle or straight as you like. This makes a nice amuse-bouche or as a more elaborate part of a complete plate as shown here. The other fillings and foams such as the one shown here will be detailed in my next book. Thank you once again to my loyal members. Your contributions make this channel possible. I have been a bit slower than usual in posting new videos because I'm busy working on the next book, which will be truly groundbreaking. I say that with all due modesty because never before have the standards of Michelin star restaurant plating been so objectively analyzed and broken down into simple steps to follow to achieve world-class results from simple ingredients and techniques. As always, if you like this video, check out some of my other books available on Amazon and in some bookstores.